Hey everybody, um, it's Amber here again from All Night Beauty and this is about the hundredth time I've attempted to film this video and I'm hoping that this will be the final time that I get to film the video because I'm starting to think that it's really not going to happen, um, me filming it. Anyway, so I'm here to do my monthly favorites and this is for the month of October. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. I don't have a lot of favorites this month, um, but I do want to talk a little bit about each product. So the first thing I want to talk about is the Estee Lauder Resilience Lift Firming and Sculpting Face and Neck Cream. It looks like this. Let me try to get that in there for you. It is in a light pink jar with a gold top from SA Lauder. If you go to any SA Lauder counter um, and ask them for that, they'll know exactly and be able to point you in the direct, right direction. This is 1.7 ounces. It's their large full-size version. This retails for about $90. But if you're smart and you pay attention to the gift sets and the sales, I was able to get this full-size, three travel sizes that are that look like this, um, that are each one ounce. Um, in addition to some oils, wrinkle oils, and a bunch of other stuff for about $70, $80, somewhere around there, which is less than what the one full size version of this costs. But anyway, so this is a great moisturizer. I've noticed a huge difference in my fine lines and wrinkles, um, especially around my eyes, down my neck, onto my collarbone. Um, it has really made a difference in the past month. I've been using it every morning as well as the firming night cream that they gave me and the eye cream that I got in the gift set. I've been using all three of these products every day this month. Super excited about this. The only thing I don't particularly care for about this one is the scent of it. Um, the scent kind of stinks and it's not really that appealing to me, especially when you apply it. Um, it's kind of strong, overpowering. So, but after a few seconds or a minute or so, it kind of subsides. So it becomes a little bit more tolerable. Tolerable. Um, if you're able to get your hands on a sample size of this or a travel size of this, definitely give it a try. It's worth a shot. Um, I was very impressed with this and it has an SPF 15 in it. So it's good for daytime. Um, the next thing I've been loving this month are the Neutrogena oil-free cleansing wipes in pink grapefruit. And these say they have 100% naturally derived pink grapefruit extract for acne prone skin. And the package looks like this and there are 25 wipes in this package. Um, it works just the same as any other makeup wipe that you may use, whether it's Neutrogena, Walmart brand, Target brand, Olay, um, any of those, Aveeno, any of those brands, it works just like that, wipes away the makeup. The thing that stood out to me about this was that it was for acne prone skin and when I looked at the ingredients there was salicylic acid in it. Um, so I figured it would be worth a shot for me, especially somebody like me. I suffer from very bad acne. I get cystic acne and so it's extremely painful, extremely hard to get rid of. Um, so I figured anything with the extra boost of salicylic acid is a bonus in my book. I definitely enjoyed these. They were anywhere from six to seven dollars. I found mine at Walmart. Um, I probably will repurchase these just because um, I felt like any extra boost, like I said, of the salicylic acid is a bonus for me. Um, and I kind of like the smell of these a little bit better than the up and up brand from target that i normally try um but i will give you a warning on these i guess it is where the salicylic acid is in this product it does sting if if you get it too close around your eyes so it's up to them so you might want to be careful on that so like i said 25 wipes in here for acne prone skin definitely recommend that for anybody um, the next thing that I've been using has been the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer with Collagen and Vitamin C and K. Um, and it is in a black, blue, and silver tube like this one. And I am in the shade Light. Um, this is, I think, around $30. I found mine at Ulta. Um, it is worth every bit of it. I ended up getting a shade lighter than what I thought I normally needed. Um, I figured I could use it not only as an under eye concealer, but as an under eye brightener. 
You don't use very much of this, just the tiniest, tiniest little bit because it is so thick. And you just dab it under your eyes, under your blemishes, blend it in. You're good. I mean, it is a full coverage concealer. Awesome product. Definitely worth trying. Um, next thing I've been using along the same uh, uh, line as eyes, we'll stick to that one, has been the MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. Um, this is a nude color paint pot from MAC. It is the color of my skin. I use this every single day. I will continue to use this every single day. It is, um, I have a lot of redness in my eyelids and I feel like if I apply this, it kind of evens the skin tone out and it gives me a fresh base to start um, applying my eyeshadows with. And it also is very creamy, so I feel like it does give something for the shadows to stick to on my lid um, to allow the full pigmentation of the shadow to come through. I think it's around $18 at MAC. Very good. I also have a link to um, my blog where you can go on there and you are... I did a comparison of the MAC Painterly Paint Pot and the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Just Beige, which is one of their limited edition fall shades. However, it is very, very, very similar to this, so definitely check that out. Uh, because if you're looking for a cheaper version of the Painterly, it's definitely worth a shot. Um, I was really surprised by that. So go over to my blog and check that out. Uh, next, sticking with eyes, I have been loving this Lash Out Butterfly Mascara from L'Oreal. And this is in the color Black is Black. Um, it's been going all around the internet about the wings. You've seen the commercial. It's supposed to make your eyes look like a butterfly. Whatever. Um, it is awesome. It does wing, like a, it wings it out on the ends. But not only does it do that, it separates. It lifts, gives, giving you volume, and it lengthens. And even just one coat of this mascara makes a huge difference in your lashes. And if you haven't tried it, go get you some. I found mine at Walmart for around $8. Um, totally worth the money. The formula is a little wet, so you have to wait for it to dry um, about a 30 to 45 seconds in between each coat. Um, but definitely worth it. I think that L'Oreal did it right with this mascara. I think that this type of wand and these type of bristles are where all mascaras are going to be going towards in the future um, as far as the lift and the volume and the separation. Didn't clump up on me very well, so very good. I also did a review on this on my blog. Um, you can check it out there also. Um... Next has been the Anastasia Beverly Hills Tinted Brow Gel, and this is in the color Granite. I actually am wearing this on my um, eyebrows today. It is just a tinted brow gel, comes with a mascara type wand here. And this brow gel color is like an auburn color, which my natural hair color is auburn. Um, you just apply it on your brows, like the gel, just brush it up on there. Um, I had never used a tinted brow gel before, and one of my friends, um, she turned me on into trying this. I was really happy that I did. It's kind of on the pricey side, but I feel like the size, it's 0.32 ounces. I feel like that this would last me a long time. Um, but it does make a huge difference in comparison to using a brow pencil or um, using... Uh, a brow powder, those types of things. I definitely I like this a lot better than that. So I've been using that every day. I'm loving it. Um, the next thing is the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Powder in Sunny, which looks like that. And if you are an avid YouTube watcher, blog reader, you have heard of NYC Sunny. I use this strictly for contouring um, underneath my cheek, um, up into the forehead, down my nose, um, my chin, those types of things. I absolutely love this. There's no shimmer to it. It doesn't make your face look muddy. It is easy to blend. It doesn't, you can build up the shade. It's, it's, it's overall, it's a good, good bronzer. Um, I think it was around $3 at Walmart. Sorry, I'm watching my cat. He's doing something crazy. 
Um, the next thing that I've been loving has been the Kat Von D Locket Tattoo Powder Foundation, which looks like this. And I got the shade L48. This is supposed to be, like it says, a powder foundation. I use it just as a powder. Um, I like to have a full coverage, flawless face. Um, foundation, powder, all of that stuff. That is my style of makeup. Um, and so I use this as a powder to set my foundation, which absolutely have been loving it. It is around $30 at Sephora in the Kat Von D line, but I think it's worth every, 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 sorry, I don't want to blind you, every penny of it. It's cute packaging. Um, you get 0.31 ounces, which is like the standard for a powder. And then it gives you a sponge also, but I've been using a brush to apply mine. It goes on very smooth, awesome, awesome product. Then, to go along with the same lines as the Kat Von D powder, I've also been using the Kat Von D Locket Tattoo Foundation, which looks like this. And again, I got it in the L, in, uh, L48 as my shade, which is the same shade as the powder foundation. Um, this is 100% full coverage matte foundation if you do not like matte you do not like full coverage this is not for you but the coverage is flawless and it says that it is full coverage 24 hour wear transfer resistant uh, matte finish fragrance free oil free it is 24 hours when they say it is 24 hour wear this stuff does not come off I can put it on first thing in the morning, and when I go to remove my makeup at night, it is stuck on my face. I have to use a makeup wipe, use cleanse off oil, wash my face, use my Clarisonic, and then wash my face again before it's completely off, which, you know, some people that may think that's a lot of work and it's not worth it for a foundation, but if you're like me and you like to have a full coverage mm -hmm. cake face type foundation, awesome, awesome product. And then finally, this is something kind of non-beauty related, but every YouTube beauty person loves this product. This are These are the Bath & Body Works 3 Wick Candles, which I'll put that right there. Um, they This one is in the scent Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, and uh, it's just so amazing that I bought these earlier... Um, I think back in the first part of September when they first released their fall scents. This is what the packaging looks like. It's so cute. Um, I bought one and I fell in love with it, burned it every single day. I had it burned down in like four days. It was crazy. Um, so I went back to buy more and they were already sold out for the season. So I have been stalking their website, stalking all four of the Bath and Body Works in my town until I finally found it. I found it obsessed with it, found it online, ordered four of them, and my husband's just going to have to get over it because this is what we're smelling all fall. So, anyways, I think I picked them up on the two for 22 sale, so I got four of them. Love them. Amazing. So, anyways, those are my October favorites, and I hope you guys enjoyed, and, um, like I said, in some of these products I've done reviews on my blog about them. So definitely go over there and check that out um, and see if my reviews are something that you'd be interested in. And if you do go over to my blog, you know, make sure you leave me a comment on one of the posts. Let me know that you came over from YouTube. That would be totally awesome. I would love to hear more feedback from you guys. Um, so anyway, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned um, for the next video. Make sure you subscribe. Tell your friends about me. Tell your friends about your blog. Um, if you have any questions, leave comments below. Uh, feel free to send me a message. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, all that stuff. I'm on all of those. Um, and I'll put links to all of them below as well. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching my October favorites. And I will talk to you soon. Bye!